the war between different standards of uh, electric car charging plugs is uh, looks like it's coming to the end. I, maybe you don't even know that it was going on, but it is just like with uh, you know your phone chargers. You know they're all different. Tesla has its own one. There are a few other standards that different companies uh, uh, brands use and different parts of the world. We, it looks like we're moving uh, towards uh, something very standardized and. Um, and Tesla is seems to be uh, conceding to the uh, CCS combo standard. And by conceding, I don't mean like they're giving up or whatever. It looks like they just uh, want to make sure that uh, they join kind of the rest of the world in the standard that's been kind of emerging, especially in Europe. I'll tell you how they're doing it and why it is good. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to the most unbiased, and I might be one of the few unbiased uh, um, uh, channels, electric car channels on the internet. So if this is your first time here and you're up for it, and if you want to be up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, uh, there's a subscribe button down there, so that way you won't miss anything uh, moving forward. Okay, let's talk about this. Now, um, here's a picture of the uh, uh, Tesla Model 3. And as you know, Tesla has their own, you know, charging plugs configurations here, configuration here in the United States. But in Europe, they've been um, uh, using the Type 2 type of a sort of Type 2 type of a plug. Um, and it is uh, now they've announced literally today that they're going to support, and this is what uh, Model uh, 3 is going to have from now on, uh, uh, the uh, CCS combo plug and this is what you see right here in the picture this is what it looks like up close um not a pretty not a pretty plug i have to say i mean the the, the yeah it's probably the ugliest one of them all um here's another picture that they've released um now this is their you know uh, this is the what would what, what look would look like a type two um so it can go uh into the top portion of the uh ccs combo uh, uh outlet I, 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 this, this, this is a bit of a mess, I have to say, uh, because again, you know, Tesla had their own. Now, l let me just, j just update you on a couple of other things. They are going to come up with an adapter for the Model S and Model X in Europe, so you can buy it. Probably going to be around 500 euros or so. Um, that way, you can also uh, charge. You know. There are many other networks now that are emerging in Europe, including Ionity. Ionity is probably leading the way. And it's not just a charging network, it's a fast charging network. Um, as a matter of fact, must, much faster. It's going to be much faster than the uh, Tesla superchargers. Um, Tesla wants, wants to make sure that, uh, that uh, its owners uh, have access to that, which is smart. Now, for that, they kind of have to concede to one standard. And it does look like uh, CCS combo is going to be winning here um i'm hoping the same is going to happen in the us because i mean we are a little bit slower here there is really no other alternatives right now electrify america is just coming online um by the end of this year they will have a few and by the end of the next year they'll have a significant number uh, but that's really the only one um i hope they find kind of the common ground there as well um so um and and just give the rest of us well i guess they're not going to give it i guess they're going to sell it to us uh the adapters so we can charge um at those networks as well um i mean it, it did look for a second like tesla was kind of a taking the apple route where it's like us and these are our plugs and we we, we don't want to be friends with anybody uh, so kudos to tesla um that you know that they actually go into accommodate um especially those who are in europe right now um so that's a good thing. Uh, before before we talk generally, you know, about this uh, different standards and what should really happen, uh, let me just remind you that the show and this uh, video is sponsored by uh, Climate Exchange. Uh, they are a nonprofit organization. They're um, having a raffle, uh, which is probably one of the best chances of winning anything that I've ever seen. But they're not raffling just wine bottles. They're raffling off. Teslas, and I don't mean like one, I mean like three. Uh, and they are going to limit their sales to only 4,000 tickets. So three Teslas, 4,000 tickets, pretty good odds if you ask me. Tickets are $250. They are limited to uh, United States. Um, unfortunately, there is a, a link to that in the description of this video. And even if you don't win, you still will be doing a good deed by supporting a nonprofit organization that's moving all of us forward to a low carbon economy. So thank you to them. Okay, now let's talk about these plugs, right? Because um, I know a lot of people uh, don't really know what they are and they're different standards. So Tesla has its own one, but there are two other ones that are pretty typical around the world. One is the um, Type 2, which is on the right, uh, and the uh, CCS combo, which is on the left. Now, as you can see, 
uh, the uh, the one on the right is kind of has just a few more pins than the top portion, the one on the left. So a lot of times people are, you know, able to have adapters and still be able to kind of um, uh, uh, use the charging ports with the other standard, uh, depending on quite a few other things. Uh, now, it, it, again, there's also Chetamo, and that's actually what I have in my Chevy Volt. Um, that needs to be resolved as well. Um, but it looks like the one on the left, which is the uh, CCS combo, looks like that's what it's going to win. Now, I got to tell you, this is the ugliest and bulkiest damn thing. I am I really wasn't rooting for it. I mean, I'm happy that we're now going to have one standard. And again, it's not a done deal. There's still in Chetimo and a Type 2, but it looks like Tesla is going to pretty much dictate this because they're their leaders. They're making most of the you know electric cars out there. So by doing this, I feel like they kind of pretty much almost deciding it for the rest of the industry. Um, let me know what you guys think. I, again, to me, it's just a little bulky. You kind of have to put the other two different parts. You kind of have to gem them together. A lot of times it's not that easy. Like, you know, the, the Tesla charging experience is just very sexy. You know, like slide it in and it lights up. It's like, whoa, this is awesome. But this one, it's always like, ah, oh, come on, get in there. And then it's like, oh my God, let me get it out of here. It's never sexy, it's never good. These are really bulky and it's, it's definitely not helping. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know which one you're rooting for. I definitely uh, want to hear from you. But nevertheless, moving towards one standard, having the you know the, the Tesla cars and now at least in Europe being able to charge the superchargers and all the other uh, um, charging networks, I think it's a huge step and a great, great, great decision by them. Uh, kudos to them. Now let me uh, give some kudos to my new Patreons, uh, Robert Go. Thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. This is how you guys pretty much support my show. I am an independent full-time unbiased YouTuber in this uh, in this niche. So thank you for supporting uh, me uh, on Patreon. Frank Asada, once again, uh, thank you. Uh, another new Patreon joining my Patreon community. And there are perks to, uh, to being a Patreon. Uh, and last but not least, Kimberly Kellogg, also a pretty active member already. Thank you, Kimberly, for supporting me. You guys get to watch me live um, and when you are on only $5 a month level, but you can go as low as a dollar a month, by the way. That's still perfectly fine. And I'm very grateful to all of you guys. Um, I also do an extra mile segment just for my Patreons. Again, also live and uh, so many other uh, pictures, behind the scenes stuff. Uh, some of the behind the scenes stuff is right here. If you follow me on e4electric on Instagram, I post some cool things in there as well. And that's free. Uh, and if you want to uh, chat with me live on YouTube, I do do this once a, once a week now on Sundays. Just a subscriber hangout. I already posted the next one that's been scheduled for the Sunday. Uh, just browse to the homepage of this channel and you can just click on the little reminder so we can hang out. Um, in just the next uh, few days. We're looking forward to that. All right, guys, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.